Hello, I'm Rebecca Mezoff. This week has been a week of saggy edge warps in my online tapestry studio. I've gotten lots of questions from online students about why their edges are always so loose. So I want to show you how I do the edge warps when I warp a loom using a half hitch to keep those edges tight. This particular method works on any loom where you're using a continuous warp with a warping bar. So any Mirex loom, it also works on the shacked tapestry loom. You can even warp a copper pipe loom with a warping bar and a continuous warp. So let me give you a close-up of how it works. First of all, I've got the loom set up ready to be warping. The warping bar is held in place on the Merrix with these clips and other looms in other ways. Let's start with a close-up of the first knot. Bring the yarn around the bar. It actually doesn't matter if it goes around the front or around the back. Hold the longer piece tight. Take the short piece and wrap it around. Bring it up. Wrap it around again. It's the same motion twice. At the beginning, the knot will be all the way up against the bar, so it doesn't even really matter if you got that right or not. From here, we're going to warp our loom in a normal warping pattern. One tip for warping a Mirax loom is that it helps keep this bar level. If the yarn, the warp yarn, both starts and ends in the same direction. So if I start by bringing the warp up from the knot, going straight up, at the end I'm going to want to bring it down and end it in the same configuration versus having the other knot coming from below which will tend to skew that bar. Here's that knot again the way I see it. Bring your warp end around the bar, making basically a little D and wrapping that tail through. Firm that up, make the same motion again, bring it right up. The knot at the beginning will be all the way up against the bar. At the end, the knot will look different. I have my whole warp on this loom now, and I'm going to show you how to tie the half hitch knot at the end. Remember here on this side, this knot was tied and I started the warp going up. So the warp on this side is going to end coming down, so the tension will also be pulling up. This thread being tight is the key to this knot. That thread stays tight, and this thread wraps around it. So we're going to make a little D here, wrap this thread underneath. There's the first half of the knot. Make another D, and then snug those up together. This thread stayed tight the whole time. Now watch, this is the magic thing. Pull that thread that stayed tight down, and you can slide the knot up. I can make this as tight as I want, and that knot right there will stay. <laughs> 